guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Today's video is going to be a haul. I haven't done a haul in so long and I'm so excited. So I did some damage at MAC. It's going to be an exclusive MAC Cosmetics haul and I'm also going to turn it into like a MAC must-haves video because honestly a lot of these products are like holy grail. I need them in my life. Can't live without them. I mean you see them in my videos but I've never really like went into detail why they are my favorites. So I wanted to share with you some informative information. So if they're a must-have I'll let you know and I'll elaborate on it. And also some of the things that I didn't pick up I'm also going to include in the must-haves part like later on in the video. Just kind of like additions so then you can kind of of know about it and if you see something you like you already know about it and you can go pick it up too also let me know what your favorite video is from me I feel like out of curiosity I'm just I just want to know but let me know if you like reviews makeup tutorials if you like all of them if you like hauls if you like favorites just just let me know, I'm really, really curious. So I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like hauls. And then also, let's go ahead and get started. And don't forget to subscribe because subscribing lets you guys know when I have a new video up. Okay, so jumping right on into this haul, I have this bag right here. It's full of goodies, so let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing is MAC Strobe Cream, and it is no surprise, I'm a huge fan of strobe cream, so this is definitely a replenishment and a must-have. This one is the original one. It's the now pink strobe cream. There's a few different variations, but I just love the OG one. Strobe cream is really cool because if your skin is looking tired and dull, it just kind of revitalizes it. It's actually pumped with green tea, so it adds a lot of vitamins and antioxidants into your skin and really plumps it up and freshens it up, as well as hydrates. You can use this over top of your makeup. You can use it underneath your makeup. I personally use it underneath. Pump up my foundation and give a really nice radiance to it. You are my favorite and I love you. So the next thing I picked up are two Emphasize Shaping Powders. I love Emphasize Shaping Powder. This is actually a pro product, so you can't buy it at all MAC stores and you can't buy it at any counters, but it is available online and then at pro stores. So if you aren't sure if you have a pro store in your area, just look it up online and it will let you know. But this product is super awesome. There's a shade for every skin tone. I love it because it's very brightening and smoothing on the under eyes, so it sets your concealer beautifully. It's very lightweight. It doesn't cake up. It doesn't look chalky. It's like specifically made for the under eye and setting that area. I go through this so much. It's a staple item. It's definitely a must have in my book. Another thing I picked up is red brick eyeshadow. And I mean, I probably have a million and one colors that look like this, but I just needed to add it to my collection because I mean, when you're obsessed with makeup, it might look the same to someone else, but it's different to us, you know? It's this beautiful like orangey shade and kind of like a brick color. And I feel like this would be beautiful in the crease for like a warm smoky eye. It's just like a me color. So I needed to pick this up. And if you didn't know, MAC eyeshadow pans are only $6 now. So they're super, super affordable. I feel like MAC is no Known for like their eyeshadows so I'm really excited to add this to my collection and I can't wait to get using it okay so next up is the Prolongwear nourishing waterproof foundation I absolutely love this foundation I actually got it in the shade NC 15 I feel like I've always worn an NW 15 because I do have a mix of undertones on my skin Mac is actually opposite from like every other line so NC is going to have more golden more yellow undertones it's going to be more cool tone and NW is going to be a neutral warm, which is more pink and more of a warmer undertone. So I've always worn an NW because NC has been really, really yellow on my skin in the past and other formulas, but I'm wearing it right now and I don't know, I've been into wearing NC15 lately, but this is definitely my ride or die foundation. I've been obsessed with it since it launched and it has a 24 hour wear, it's a satin finish, extremely full coverage. It looks beautiful in photography, so it's great for brides or special events because it's long wearing and then it also doesn't have that SPF, so it's not gonna flash back at you in flash photography. I feel like the colors, they don't oxidize over time like Studio Fix Fluid does from MAC. It actually does it pretty Pretty much instantly so what you see by the time you've blended it out is what you're gonna get and it's gonna remain that color towards the end of the day the end of the night so there's no surprises there I mean I've been there where I've worn studio fix and it looks great when I leave my house and then you know as the day progresses I am orange 
this one doesn't do that it's absolutely beautiful if you do wear it day to day because you like a full coverage like me I definitely suggest wearing an SPF with it underneath just to give you that sun protection so but. this next item is a Mac essential I don't know why I keep saying Mac because like everything in here is Mac but it's the essential oils stick this isn't a must-have this is just something new that I need to try out and I am a big fan of oils you know I love 100% pure argan oil on my face that is like my number one skincare secret so I was really intrigued by this it looks like a giant lip balm but it's for your face so you just kind of like slide it on really work it in so I'm curious to see how this performs I've used it on clients actually and it's really really nice but I wouldn't suggest it if you're oily if you're on the drier side I feel like this is a really good product but I still don't know enough about it to really let you guys know if it's a must have. So this is just an item that I picked up. So next I picked up a MAC Golden Bronzer. I love this bronzer. This is my all time favorite bronzer, so it's definitely a must have. I feel like if you are a fair skin tone like me, or even a medium skin tone that just wants a very subtle bronze glow, this one is perfect. It's not totally matte, so there is a little bit of a sheen. It's not like shimmer or glitter. It's my favorite bronzer of all time, and I go through so many of these it's actually embarrassing maybe like one every two months and then i keep purchasing it because i have a really hard time finding bronzers the mac mineralized skin finish natural powder and i wear the shade light this is definitely one of my all-time favorite setting powders i bring this everywhere with me because it is just the bomb it's going to be very lightweight very natural so it's great to set a foundation or if you're a very natural type of girl you could do a little bit of concealer set the face with this all over and it looks absolutely beautiful it photographs nicely it's a satin natural finish so it's not super powdery it's not going to look heavy or cakey over top of makeup and it actually is infused with the MAC 77 vitamin and mineral complex actually all of MAC's mineralized line is infused with the 77 mineral complex so that's something really cool that maybe you didn't know so there's really good ingredients in it and this is a bomb setting powder if you haven't tried it already and it's a must have thing is a lipstick from the color rocker collection MAC came out with a new line of matte lipsticks and they are all crazy crazy colors and they're actually going to be permanent in their line so they're going to be regular lipsticks that will be added in so I picked up this color this is the one in bunny beams and it just looks Sorry about my psoriasis, guys. It's so gross. So it looks like this. It's a beautiful, like, pinky purple shade. Let's do a little swatch. So it looks like this. This is gonna be a really pretty color for spring. This item is Cafe Au Chic Retro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This is one of the new shade extensions and it's this really pretty nude. So it's this really pretty nude color. It's very cool tone. I feel like this is so me. Ooh, that's beautiful. So that is Cafe Au Chic right there. It's super pretty. It's actually darker than it looks in the tube. And I will say when MAC's Retro Matte Liquid Lipsticks first launched, they were very moussey and thick and they kind of crumbled and cracked. The formula now is much better. They definitely revamped it. And if you haven't tried them in a while, I definitely pick up some. They came out with some really beautiful neutral tones and the formula is really, really great now. So I can't wait to try out that color. Okay, so the next thing I picked up is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I've got an open bottle right over here. So it looks like this. I absolutely love Fix Plus. It has a really fine, I'm gonna use my old one because I mean, I haven't used this one up completely. So I don't wanna mess with the new one. Has a really nice like, let me just go ahead and spray it. I love how fine the mist is. It just gives the perfect veil of spray on the face. I don't know. I feel like it's most traditionally used to finish the makeup look or intensify like metallic eyeshadows and it's really great for doing all that. But it's actually really, really great too as a skin prep. So if you do it after your moisturizer or before your makeup, you can mist it on and it has green tea, chamomile, and cucumber. So it's actually very calming on the skin. It's going to help reduce redness if you do have redness. It's also great for finishing the makeup. A little misconception I would say is some people think it prolongs the makeup wear, which it doesn't do. It actually finishes it off. So the glycerin in it is going to make everything look more skin-like and more natural and it will get rid of any powderiness or cakiness. You can mist it in at any point of your makeup. You mist it in if you're looking a little bit heavy, a little bit cakey. It's going to kind of refresh the look. So what I actually like to do is if my makeup has been on for a long time, 
time and say I'm going out and I need a little refresher, what I'll do is I'll miss like a beauty blender and like stipple it over those areas and it will totally like erase any cakiness and any texture and just make it look really, really, really great. And I love using this with metallic eyeshadows or pigments because it just bumps it up so much. I used it on my eyes today and that's what made it so glittery. I actually have a MAC sparkly thing that I'm gonna talk about later. Definitely a must-have from MAC. If you haven't tried it, it's really awesome and I think you'd really, really like it. I think anyone can benefit from a little Fix Plus. Plum Lip Pencil, and this is a color that I've always wanted in my collection, but I've never bought it until now. This is a color that I use often on clients, and I actually love this color. I don't know why I haven't owned it, and it's actually gonna look beautiful with Cafe Au Chic. I didn't even think of that, oh my god. So that is plum right there in the middle. How pretty will that look with the liquid lipstick? I feel like this color would look great on like every skin tone. I personally love Max lip pencils. I don't know, something about the texture of them no one can really replicate. It doesn't tug or drag on the lips. It's not dry, it's very, very creamy, yet it stays put and it's very pigmented. Okay, so the last item of the haul is the MAC Prep and Prime Lip. I've tried lip primers from every brand and nothing compares to this baby right here. This is going to hydrate the lips. It's going to create a barrier between your lip and the lipstick. So everything's gonna glide on really really smooth It's going to fill in any natural lip lines or texture that the lips may have for a smoother application It's going to help prevent feathering prime is different from like a chapstick because it's not going to Add shine or dull down the lipstick. It's gonna keep the finish very true to what it is So if you're wearing a matte lipstick your lipstick will remain matte even with this underneath if you do like a lip balm It tends to sheer it out and it doesn't necessarily prolong the wear time like this does so I especially love this with the the liquid lipsticks. You've probably seen me use it a million times in my videos. So I needed to replenish this one. It's definitely a must have. All right, so that is it for the haul portion of this video. I do have a few extra items that I do want to talk about and share with you guys. So these are three lip pencils that I absolutely love from MAC. These colors are like staple essentials in my life. The first one is the infamous Whirl lip pencil. So that one is Whirl right there on the end. Again, it's that Kylie Jenner like mauve pinky nude lip that everyone loves. The next one is MAC Strip Down, and I would have got another one of these if I realized how small mine is. I'm wearing MAC Strip Down right now actually on my lips. And this one is more of that nude brown undertone lip pencil. Okay, so my last one is Oak Lip Pencil. I feel like this one is more for fair to medium skin tones, and you could easily, if you are a little bit deeper of a skin tone, replace these two neutrals, the Strip Down and Oak, with Cork and Chestnut, and that would kind of give you the same vibe. It's really similar to Strip Down, but on the lips, I feel like it's just a little bit different. So that one is oak right on the end there. So another thing that is definitely a must have that I've used for years and I've used it in countless videos is MAC Costa Rich Eye Coal. And this eye coal is something that is really, really nice if you blend it all over the lid and smudge it out. I always do it on the lower lash line for a really smoldering brown smoky eye. It is a rich, rich brown. It's like a coffee color has a warm, rich undertone to it. There's nothing out there that I have seen that is similar. It's right there on the end. So if you're looking for that perfect, warm, bronzy, summery brown eye coal, Costa Rica is it. This next must have is the paint pot. It's actually a prolonged wear paint pot now. I wear the shade Painterly, and I use this as an eyeshadow base. I love the paint pots because they are long wearing. They help your eyeshadow prevent from creasing. They create a nice, smooth canvas for the eyeshadow to lay on top of and kind of even out the lid. I feel like over the last year and a half, they've started to make all of these prolong wear. They never used to be. They used to just be regular standard paint pots and I honestly felt like they did dry out very, very easily. The new formula I find doesn't dry out nearly as easily. I can get through a whole thing without it drying out. Um, granted, I do use it every single day to prep my eyeshadow and I never experience creasiness or oily eyelids or anything like that. So I love the paint pots from MAC. There's a shade for every skin tone and if you have haven't tried them and you're looking for a really great eyeshadow primer, try them out. They are awesome. My favorite things of all time. Every time I wear these on my eyes, everyone asks me what I'm wearing and it's the Dazzle Shadows from MAC. These are definitely two of my favorites right here. They're so pigmented, so buttery, so creamy. Look at that. How pretty is that? 
Sorry, I'm like flicking you guys off. So this one is called Let's Roll and this one is Last Dance. This one is Try Me On and then Can't Stop, Don't Stop. Look at those, they're so beautiful. And my favorite way to apply them is to actually apply them dry first, then apply them wet, misting it with the Fix Plus, and then adding like a glitter glue or something like that and applying a third layer just so you can get all the dimensions of the glitter and it looks really, really pretty on the eyelid. Okay, so this next thing is definitely a must have. I used to use this all the time in my videos and it's still an all time favorite concealer of mine. I'm wearing it today underneath my eyes and it's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Mine's in the shade NW15. I love this concealer because it's great for the under eye area. It doesn't crease or settle into any fine lines or wrinkles. You can also highlight with it since there are so many shade variations of it. And it's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This one is like an oldie but a goodie for me. Definite must have and I feel like a lot of people will agree with me on this are the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish Highlighters. They recently came out with these two and these are part of their permanent line so they're always gonna have these colors. They have four shades total as of right now and this one is Soft Frost so it's like a pink iridescent. And then this one in Double Gleam I'm wearing on my cheekbone right now. So it's a beautiful kind of white gold champagne color. These just give the most beautiful highlight. They add that glow, they add that kind of like that wet looking highlight that I'm obsessed with and so it's very finely milled, much like the Becca highlighters. And then this last one is MAC Oh Darling. This one is kind of like a dupe for Whisper of Guilt. So it came out in the holiday collection two years ago, but this one is like blinding. They just melt into the skin. They give you that blinding highlight that is so popular right now. And I just feel like if you find any of these limited edition, if they are in the Extra Dimension Skin Finish formula and they're a highlighter, pick them up and you will not be disappointed in them. They're so on point every single time. Lip Scrubtious Lip Scrub, and this is a newer product to MAC. I feel like a lot of people don't know about them. Mine is in Summer Berry, and these are kind of like the lip scrubs from Lush, except for they're not as dry. I find they're even better than the Lush ones because the Lush ones tend to be messy, they crumble, they they're like really, really dry. This one is so creamy. It really adds that hydration to the lips and preps them, especially for like a matte lipstick. Will buff off any dead skin. Very, very comfortable. It's sugar-based, so it is edible. And it's infused with grapeseed oil and shea butter, so they're very, very hydrating. Okay, last but not least is a blush. And I'm not talking really about the colors. I mean, I do love these colors. They are must-haves for me, but the formula more so. The mineralized blushes are absolutely amazing. They add that glow from within. Again, they have that 77 vitamin and mineral complex by MAC infused in them. They blend out so well. They add just the perfect amount of color to the cheek. They aren't powdery, they aren't chalky, they aren't streaky. They're beautiful. So I have Warm Soul right here. This one is like a cult favorite. And then this one I've used 100,000 times in my videos. It is New Romance and it's stunning. If you are deeper skin tone, love joy or love thing, girl, that would be beautiful. All right guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I didn't include any MAC lipsticks in it other than the ones that I had picked up because I feel like that's a whole nother video itself. If you do wanna see all of my maybe like top 10 MAC must have lipsticks, leave a comment down below and let me know. Also, if maybe you learned something cool about any of these products that you didn't know and now you can't wait to try them, let me know down below as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I can't wait. I don't know. I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna go. Picture frame, hanging upon empty walls.